Yo, what's up guys, Raymond here. So today let's go ahead and talk about whether or not Coinbase is gonna go ahead and list a Dogecoin on their platform. Now, as you may or may not know, Coinbase is the biggest cryptocurrency exchange here in the United States, and they have recently IPO'd their company as of a couple of weeks ago. So in this case, Coinbase almost definitely has to list Dogecoin on their platform here sometime soon. And we wanna know whether or not if they do indeed list that cryptocurrency on their platform, whether or not that's going to be a huge catalyst for Dogecoin going forward. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and hit that like button, pick up your two free stocks with Weeble, and then check out BlockFi to get all of your cryptocurrency interest needs sorted out. Dogecoin is currently trading around 27 cents and it has a market cap of around $35 billion and a circulating supply of around $129 Dogecoin. Dogecoin. And then also it is the seventh largest cryptocurrency right now in the cryptocurrency market. So Dogecoin over the last month or so has been up substantially, up from around a couple of pennies all the way to a high of around $48 or so at one point. It did since sell off. It did hit a low of about, let's say 21 cents here recently, but it's currently stabilized around 27 cents. And it really is good to see that even though Dogecoin did sell off, you know, all the 420 memes and people thought it was going to go to 69 cents and it was going to hit a dollar and, you know, what else people were talking about. It's good to see that even though we didn't see some astronomic, you know, push towards like 70 cents or even a dollar, it's good to see that Dogecoin didn't just flat out sell off and become, let's say, like a penny or, you know, a couple of cents. So it's good to see that stabilization around that 25 cent mark right now now so as you know coinbase is the biggest cryptocurrency exchange here in the united states and they've also recently ipo and in fact coinbase has over 40 million users so it is true that they did miss out on the initial push and when it comes to dogecoin but i definitely believe that it doesn't make much sense for the biggest cryptocurrency exchange in the united states not to have dogecoin on their platform so which means i'm sure that uh, Coinbase is going to want to take over or take advantage of the upcoming push, in my opinion, to around a dollar per Dogecoin. They're going to want to go ahead and take advantage of that. So I think it's inevitable that they're going to list Dogecoin on their platform. And I think that's going to be a huge catalyst if they do, because it doesn't make much sense that the, you know, the biggest cryptocurrency exchange in the country doesn't have Dogecoin listed on their platform just doesn't. And you might be telling yourself, Raymond, who cares, man? I have a Robinhood account. I have a Webull account. I'm buying Dogecoin. I'm buying cryptocurrency using those brokerages. Well, when you buy cryptocurrency through those brokerages, you don't actually own the crypto, right? You're just buying and selling and then just pocketing or realizing the loss or profit. When you buy crypto, for example, Dogecoin via a cryptocurrency exchange like Coinbase, you buy that crypto and you own it flat out. And you can send that crypto from the exchange to that wallet, that specific wallet for that cryptocurrency. So I can buy Dogecoin on, on Coinbase. I can buy, let's say, 10 Dogecoin and I can send that 10 Dogecoin to my Dogecoin wallet for safekeeping. That's not the same on brokers like, let's say, Webull and Robinhood, you know. They're just trading brokerages. They don't specialize in cryptocurrency and you cannot buy a crypto on those brokerages and then send it to your wallet. Another thing when you're buying crypto through a brokerage like let's say Webull or Robinhood is that you can't really swap for coins like on the fly like that, right? You really have to liquidate those coins and then turn it into fiat and then transfer that fiat into like a crypto exchange and then buy it over there and then all of this stuff is very long-winded, right? And then a lot of it, most of the time, a lot of times it can create a taxable event. So you do have some tax implications sometimes when you do things like that. But with a cryptocurrency exchange, I mean, I can just have a bunch of Dogecoin. I can swap it for whatever I want and then vice versa. So it makes it very easy when you're dealing with a cryptocurrency exchange like Coinbase. When it comes to Dogecoin, I believe that most of the people that have bought into Dogecoin aren't looking for some astronomical 200X on their investment. I think most people that are buying into this coin are being pretty sensible. They're just trying to get better returns than they would get 
probably just investing into like an index fund that's getting 10% a year or an ETF or something like that, right? Even if they double their money or 3X their money, I think most people that are investing will probably be very, very happy. Now, I think there's gonna be a massive, massive sell wall waiting at the $1 mark because that's gonna be a big, round, very psychological number that a lot of people have their eyes fixated on. I think we're gonna have to cross that 50 cent threshold. That's gonna be a battle, but if we can break above 50 cent, we're gonna see a dollar. And again, that sell wall is gonna cause a lot of people to start to take profits at that $1 mark. Because like I said, a lot of people, they're not looking to 500X, some miracle you know, gain on their investment, right? Most people I think that are investing or buying this coin are pretty sensible. They're just looking to two, three, maybe five X their money, right? And if they can cash out or take some profit off the table at $1, you're gonna see that price start to dip a little bit. But if we can stabilize at a dollar and break above that, then you know we can see some more upside. What I would really like to see is Coinbase go ahead and list Dogecoin on their platform. I think that's gonna go ahead and cement Dogecoin as a pretty serious currency to be reckoned with. I mean, call it a meme coin or a coin that's not valuable at all. You know, Call it whatever you want, but as far as gains go, I think that we're gonna see a lot more upside here in the short mid term. It's also good to see that Dogecoin is stabilizing. It hasn't had any crazy, massive, wild swing, you know, losing 80%, 90% overnight, things like that. We are hovering around this 30 cent area, 25 cent area, you know, just playing around a little bit. I think we're potentially in an accumulation phase. And I think people are going to look to start uh, trying to push this coin higher. If we do see catalysts like Coinbase listing the coin and then other things. Now, what should you as an investor of Dogecoin do going forward? Well, this is not financial advice. I'm just some random dude on YouTube making videos. But if you're up on your investment, I mean, you want to realize some profits, lock in some profits, uh, take out your initial investment if you can, and then let the rest ride because it's house money at this point. So even if Dogecoin does go to zero, you didn't lose anything as far as pocket or money out of pocket. Also, make sure you're being smart about what you're doing. Don't go ahead and risk all your house money, burn down the house in the process, right? You don't want to risk your kid's college tuition or, or your 401k gambling on Dogecoin because really at the end of the day, it's still sort of a gamble, right? It doesn't really have, it's not like a stock where it has like a company behind it. There's some fundamentals behind it or anything like that. So just make sure that you're playing it safe. You're not being too greedy. And I think it'll work out in the long run. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You found it informative. You found it entertaining in some way. I think Coinbase is going to inevitably have to go ahead and list Dogecoin on their platform. And when they do, it's just going to get a lot more people into the mix, right? Because it's very, very easy because the process when it comes to some of these smaller cryptocurrencies is just long winded. You have to jump through so many hoops in order to obtain the coins. So I think when Coinbase lists this with their over 40 million users, man, it's gonna send this thing rocking because it's just gonna go ahead and cement Dogecoin as a legitimate cryptocurrency currently sitting at number seven. And we can even see it surpass you know, Cordano and all these other coins jump up to maybe three, maybe two, who knows? So go ahead and hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe to the channel. I make videos just like this one pretty much on a daily basis on investing. And then check out Webull, pick up your two free stocks, and then check out BlockFi if you're into cryptocurrency and you want to get an annual interest rate on your crypto. So my name is Raymond and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.